it's my privilege to share with you a poem um, by Frank X. Walker. Frank X. Walker was the um, poet laureate of Kentucky in 2013 and 2014. He teaches writing over at the University of Kentucky. Uh, he is a founding member of a group of poets in the region called the Afrolachian Poets. Um, Af African American poets who are from the Appalachian re region, and they dub themselves the Afrolachian poets. There's a wonderful documentary um, about the poets in um, here called uh, Coal Black Voices, and our library uh, has this um, video. Um, Frank X. Walker's first book was a book called Afrolatcha, um, and in it there's a poem um, of the same name, but that's not what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share uh, uh, a poem from a more recent work, uh, a book of sonnets that Frank X. Walker has written called The Afrolatchian Sonnets. And this is a sonnet called Gunning for Bear, Gunning for Bear. John Henry's hammer and his determination to beat quatrains is a sonnet. Booker T. Washington's legacy is a sonnet. The onyx vision of Carter G. Woodson is itself black history and a truly American sonnet. When Jesse Owens leaned heart first across the finish line and took his bad man strides to the victory stand, it was an Olympic sonnet. The fierce love for her people and her mid-song sermons were classic Nina Simone sonnets. Bill Withers' most loving grandma's hands are the grandest of couplets. The sum total of August Wilson's plays is a crown of sonnets. Pittsburgh, Birmingham, Bessie, Effie Waller-Smith, Roberta and the Carolina Chocolate Drops, too. Any black poem with too much pluck to be Petrarchan that looks trouble, a problem, a challenge, an obstacle, or a bear in the eye, and doesn't run is an Afrolachian sonnet.